Yellow, yellow. What the? Oh, there I am. Hey, everybody. Come on in. What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. Hopefully, all Saturday's been super chill so far. If you're just waking up, good morning. Hey, it just made me sleepy. I had a chance to sleep in today and rest up. Hey, what's up, everybody? Little Heart Raccoon, you are wrapped up in wrapping paper. Okay, well, good luck with that. Okay, 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 okay. Phantom Ninja, what up? We're doing some Terraria stuff today. What's going on? Yo, cat, white kitty cat. Oh, my God. Kitty cats everyone. Bye, kitties here to join us with Luisa. Awesome. What up, Faye? Yeah, Christmas music. And what up, the Q? What's up, everybody? I'd wave, but then my arm will break off. Because I'm a perler bead man. Um, yeah, so. It's Saturday, y'all. It is my great pleasure to inform you that it is Saturday, my dudes. And, um, yeah. We've updated a couple of things. And now that uh, YouTube is running, I want to try something. Let me get my keyboard. Let's see, I was playing around with uh, <laughs> IRL Perler Man. We're gonna see if this works. I tried to transfer over the quote uh, function from Nightbot. And so I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna type it up and we're gonna see if it pops up. And if it works, oh my God, it works. The quotes are back. We have 71 quotes to go through. Oh my goodness. So the way this works is like you put in exclamation quote and then it pops up with a quote. This is quote number 10, and it's me saying two, four, six, eight, eleven. And I think this was back when I was crocheting and uh, losing count because of ADHD. So we got the function back. So the way you do it is I'm gonna type some instructions and I'll, I'll show you how to do it later. Uh, and there might be a cooldown on it. So if you, a hey, number 41, it looked like Wendy from Wendy's. <laughs> That's my old, uh, VTuber where you can like change the hair colors and stuff and it had like red hair So if you type add quotes as one word and then you type blah, 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 Then that'll get, let you um, Like add the quote to um, To the repository of quotes. So How do you check how many points you had? Uh oh, I'm not sure I uh, if you go to the chat it should have an option to like see channel points there, but this weekend, I went ahead and I basically deactivated my affiliate status with Twitch. So I don't know if it got rid of your channel points there. Um, but if you have a general estimate, I could just manually throw it in there because you were crewing a lot. So if, if, I'm not sure if you know any number off the top of your head. We'll just go with that, you know, close enough. Um, but I think, unfortunately, now that I deactivated it um, this past, was it this weekend or this week? Um, it may have just reset everyone's channel points below you know what let's let's do that let's go to where are these channel points I oh they're with um which one call it what's the not nightbot uh cloud bot but that's with streamlabs i want to say yeah so let me go add that now before that nah no worry no worry no worry no worries no worries, no worries whatsoever uh we're gonna go we're gonna log in over here uh we're gonna log in with youtube and we're gonna go manually add that to make sure that we're we're being accurate with our our point of courage. But how's everybody doing? Anyone got any crazy cool plans this weekend? I'm um, I'm just chilling and I'm just cleaning and I'm just I'm just doing the things. You know what I mean? Jelly beans. All right, loyalty. So we're gonna look up. Do, 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 do. And next page. We're gonna look up. There we are. Okay, we're gonna edit this. So 340, 340 minutes divided by five times 10. Okay, let's see, calculator. See you later, calculator. There for you. Times divided by five. And times 10. Hello. Hello, everybody. back everybody awesome so let's go and see if i can refresh the chat here successfully connected hey thanks for your patience everybody we're good hey, 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 hey. we're back we're back we're back we're back we're back um i don't i don't know why my router is doing this this is so weird it's like every saturday it's exploding and it's exploding right now why <laughs> come on come on work 
Hey, give the kitty a hug. Um, okay, hopefully that'll that'll fix the thingies. I hope. I hope. This is what happens when. Wait, I don't know why this is happening. So I don't know why this is happening. Uh, okay, buffet, we got your points updated to get thirteen thousand eight hundred and sixty. I think we're back. I think we're back. It looks like it's in the green for right now. So I, I think we're I think we're okay. I think we're fine. I, I hope we're we're okie dokie artichokies right now. And I hope things don't explode any more than they have to. I, I'm gonna pull this thing over here. Thanks for your patience, everybody. Uh, bonk. Plug in the camera there. Okay, we're gonna go to studio mode because we're gonna go to nested crafting art so we can turn on our desk camera. Nope. We're gonna, there it is, desk camera, deactivate and activate. And now we're gonna go, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're back in just chatting. And let's do it, y'all. Let's get to the crafting. Woohoo! Ah, oh, that's so cute. Look at all the hugging. What up, everybody? Ayo, ayo, ayo. So before we get into Terraria stuff, we have uh, some old stuff to do. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. There we go. Da -dang. Ba -bang. So, we have to iron these old Animal Crossing things that we finished on Wednesday. Look at them! They're so cute! We got KK Slider, and then we got Timmy, and then we got Celeste, and then we got the Leaf, and it's all over the place. It's all different uh, variations and stuff. This is on the cork because it was in the basement. Yeah. But, let's get this ironing ready. Got the iron right here. We're gonna start heating that up and plug it right in. A little baby iron right here. Beep, beep. So, some interesting trivia. Um, we tried doing trivia Wednesday night, but like the way I copied and pasted it, it was so tiny that no one could read it. Uh, so that was kind of a bummer, but there's some I still remember. There's still some trivia I remember off the top of my head. So we'll be able to use that. Uh, so first, let's go with KK Slider, speaking of. And some interesting trivia about KK Slider. He's the only animal crosser who doesn't wear any clothes. He's a nudist. He is a bona fide nude guy. Um, we tried putting a Christmas tarper on top of his head, but because it was like he doesn't have a black outline, as you can see here, and he has like the it would be up here. It wasn't looking super funky. Oh, it was looking really funky actually. That's why we didn't put it on. Uh, so most of these dudes are naked toppers. And I wonder if we should have just added a black outline, but I like how they came out. So, we're gonna go ahead and iron this first one. So, KK Slider is the only villager that doesn't wear clothes. And one time he was like, hey man, these big fat cats are trying to make me uh, sell my stuff and I'm just a free spirit. And then people on the internet were like, yo, KK Slider, he's advocating for online piracy. And it got to the point where the vice president of like Nintendo America had to like release a statement being like hey y'all it's just that kk slider is a free spirit it's not necessarily that he wants to go pirate stuff he just doesn't he's a free spirit that's all and maybe that's why he's naked all the time that's my that's my uh <sighs> why are we dropping frames darn it this is so annoying Stop dropping frames. What the heck? Yeah, I'm so sorry, y'all. Yeah, the vice president had to get on and explain that. Yeah, y'all, it looks like uh, his eyebrows are really nice. Yeah, he's got the people's eyebrow there. Um, it looks like we're dropping frames again and the connection's not looking so hot, so I might have to manually reset the router. Um, so, 
we'll see how this turns out if it keeps if it continues because right now it's just continually dropping frames like a lot a lot a lot a lot so i'm gonna have to go take care of that before we continue it's like every saturday man on wednesdays it's fine you'd figure on a wednesday night people would be like i'm off of work i'm gonna use the internet but it looks like every saturday afternoon the internet's just going bonkers which is not what used to happen on twitch which is very interesting So, let's get this ironed, and we're going to try that again. Yeah, we're still just dropping a bunch of frames. We're dropping frames, peeps. Why? Why? That's looking pretty sick, actually. Looking pretty flat and pretty melty. Flat melty, that is. That's looking pretty smooth. Yeah. Heck yeah, we did it. All right, y'all. Is the stream crashing in and out for anybody? Because it looks like we're still dropping frames at this point. We've dropped 40% of our frames, which is insane. So yeah, let me go reset the internet while we... Hopefully this will fix it. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, we're back. I don't think your chat is updating. Yep. Okay. Infinite loading loop with a thumbnail. What about now? Alright, let me try telling people to reset. Hey, uh, I think we're back. Ooh. Hey. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'm going to be super, super real with y'all. It's kind of hard not to get really frustrated when things out of your control happen like this. And uh, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm feeling panicky or anxious or all, but like, it's just really, really frustrating. Ugh, so um, I, I hope this is the last time we have to deal with the internet for today. It's weird how it's happening every single Saturday. We have to I'll have to make a phone call and look into that. But uh, if you've been sticking around, thanks for your patience. Really do appreciate it. If you've left because you've been frustrated, I totally get it. Uh, but we're in the middle of fixing up and finalizing our Animal Crossing Perler Beat stuff. Uh, and then we're gonna go into our Terraria stuff. So we just finished ironing KK Slider. So while that cools down, we're gonna get something else. Yeah. Ba -ba. Thanks, Phantom Ninja. I'm glad you understand. Not everyone is as understanding, and I get it. It's frustrating for everybody. So, we're going to go into... Why don't we go and iron Celeste? Celeste is very cute. Dunk. So, some Celeste trivia we found out on Wednesday night. Uh, here, I'm going to chat in the Discord and let people know that we're back. Okay. Um, where were we? Ah, oh, yeah. So, some Animal Crossing trivia about Celeste. Did you all know that Celeste can't fly? Celeste, as an owl, is unable to fly. And, uh, that makes me really sad. And that's why Celeste loves stargazing so much. So, some fun trivia for you there. So, as we iron, we're gonna try to get the paper to stick on our slow circles and all bits and once all bits are sticking to the paper we can focus in on certain areas to try to get everything to iron evenly this is a new color that we got for celeste it's called rust and it's like a weird brown red and i i think it's a perfect fit for celeste and i wonder like what else i can use it on but really glad with how that came out 
And these are the patterns that you can get from um, the Perler Animal Crossing kit that they sell. So there's that. Hoping to get a lot of beats for Christmas. Very excited. Nice. Me too. I hope Santa comes and I haven't been too naughty this year and I get plenty of beads. I'm hoping to get mini beads this year. And so that'd be really fun to experiment with and to really see like what that's all about. Um, I don't know if y'all saw in the Discord, I put up a picture of Perler, what are they called? Perler caps. And those caps um, are a different style. It's more like to eliminate the need of trying to get a flat melt because it's like flat already as is, like the nature of the beads are flat. Um, so I'm very curious to see what that's going to look like. So after we finish all of our Christmas ornaments, holiday tree ornaments, we can go uh, check that out and see how that goes. Oops, I thought you asked for bees. What the? Bees, not the bees. What you mean, Mike? Also, Mike, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? The internet exploded like five different times, as is tradition now every single Saturday. But we're back. We're here. We're ironing. And then we're going to get into Terraria once we finish this Animal Crossing uh, loop here. Do. Touches up here and there. Yeah, it's looking pretty sick. Looking pretty sweet. So now I'm gonna put that under heavy bolts. Okay, and we got a few more things to iron, but we're gonna let the heavy books just uh, squish those, and we're gonna get started with our Terraria stuff here. So first guy to make is the guide guide is the first guy so let's go get some beads out we need black a couple of shades of brown um some lighter skin tones so let's have a look there so we got oh that's not black that's dark blue we're always gonna need some white for the eyeballs as you play Terraria much? So, we actually... I played the, for the first time a long, long, long time ago, and very recently, some people in the Discord and I are playing, like, every Sunday, and we just got to hard mode. So... That's pretty exciting. Um, even the other times i play, I've only beaten the Eye of Cthulhu and then stopped right there, but uh, I haven't played too much. I'm not very familiar with all of it, so that's why the patterns we're doing today are, like, pretty basic. But, you know, I'm sure once I get more familiar with it and there's, like, a cool weapon or armor set that I'm really into, I can, like, make my own Terraria guy, you know what I mean, as a pearly bead. So. Alright, right. how about you all? Have you all played Terraria much? Have you, have you dumped a lot of hours in there? some like cheddar cheese color which is kind of like a light brown let me check my hours right now the project i have in mind is all the end game armor sets with the respect to my tourists to make all oh, super cool somebody accidentally started the hardmore boss i'm not gonna name names i'm just saying whoever that was probably didn't mean to and they're probably just exploring and going through all the cool under lava world stuff and be like oh what's this oh what's that and they may or may not have accidentally picked up the voodoo item and maybe used it and maybe killed it by accident because they were like super high on the thrill of exploring. I'm not gonna point any perler bead fingers at anybody, uh, but it was definitely me. It was me. <laughs> You've never played the queue? It's pretty relaxing, it's pretty chill. It's like Minecraft, but not really. So I like it, it's kinda cool. All right, we still need a couple more beads. Here we go. So we got our dark brown, we have our this is closer to our light brown, this tan here. And then we could possibly use this rust color, but mm, maybe not, maybe it's a little too red. Okay, so looking at our colors, 
Uh, this guy's... Okay, so we're gonna use... We have uh, one, two, three different shades of brown. So we're gonna use these browns for that. We're not gonna use this cheddar. We're gonna use... He has like a paler complexion. So that's gonna be one of the beads. So maybe we can use orange for his skin? Do I have a song command? No, I don't. But it... We're on shuffle right now, but if you're looking for like the music, uh, it's the little thing right above my head where you, where you see the title of the song uh, and the author that's or the musician. It's all through Game Chops. So if you look up Hell, H E L Y N T, for example, that's where you can get it. That's a little song sort of tracker there. Um, so we need more something along these lines. And if not, we'll just have to use two colors. And I think I have an idea about what to use. I guess these two are the only ones that we can use if we're going to use um, for his skin tone. So I guess, hmm, I guess that's what we use. Maybe we'll combine, uh, hmm, how about this? How about we get the hair done and the outline done? And then from there, we can kind of see like where we should go from there. So that'll give us a start. And then once we get this guy taped up, we can iron two more Animal Crossing peeps. And we go from there. So my dream last night, I had a dream I went to the zoo with with my cat and Mataz. And like at the zoo, like I was just carrying my cat the entire time. And they're getting like really thirsty. And then they're like, bleh, I just want water. But they weren't talking. I was like, oh no, Katie's gotta get some water. And it was just like a really odd sort of like dream to have, I guess. <laughs> okay, so 620 combined hours of touring, not including console, my guy. You must know all the secrets. You must know all the tips and tricks. Like without spoiling too much, because we just got to hard mode. What would you say are some like pre hard mode tips that you can dispense? Because you must have like all the knowledge in all the world. All hail Phantom Ninja. Monarch of Terraria. But yeah, it's been a fun game. I've been enjoying it. And I think it's one of those games that like just get exponentially gets better with friends. Like if I had more time, I'd probably I find myself playing it by myself maybe. Possibly. I tried playing it on stream uh, with a hardcore character. Um, and I just kept getting squished by boulders and had to restart my character from with nothing. And that was really frustrating, but fun. But this is going to be kind of small compared to everything else. Hmm. I wonder if we should make the rest of them. It's going to be very vertical. So I think I'm okay with just having a head. Little tiny head. I think I'm off already, though. But let's see here. Yo, 0% drop frames. Let's go. I love it when we're not dropping frames. It's my favorite. Okay, we got two over here. Yeah, we're off by one. Dang it. Because this should be his nose. We have one, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Let's go back this way and figure it out. Uh, hey, sorry, I was behind lifetime. So tips. Uh, oh, yeah, no worries. It looks like because of all the, the lag and stuff that um, we were experiencing, everything exploded. And everything's like all kind of out of whack. But yeah, no worries, no worries, no worries. Uh, let's put this here. Do, 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 do. Let's get our white for the eyeballs. And then it's kind of like a dark, almost like a dark gray eyeball. Uh, there are a lot of farms that you can set up for hard mode that are worth making before hard mode because hard mode enemies will make the farms a pain to make. Oh, uh oh, too late for us. Because <laughs> somebody definitely accidentally, not on purpose, started hard mode. Whoops. 
So make farms in advance, basically. And like, what kind of farms? So like, are you talking about? Yeah, I have no idea. We have. I don't think we even made a farm. We've made like platforms to like fight bosses, but I don't think that's what, like arenas. I think. But I don't think that's what you're talking about. A brown town. Farms for enemy materials. You need a lot of light and night souls from enemies in the evil and good underground biome. Oh. Very, very interesting. I think we we skipped that step. And I know there's like gonna be like corruption and stuff now, and we did not set up the world to protect it from uh, being super overly corrupted very quickly. Whoops. Also, it's worth farming for a rod of Discord. Hey, so you can chat with the boys. You can chat with your peeps and be like, hey, y'all, jump on Discord. Eh, eh, there we go. Mm, I think for a light round, we're going to use this one. I might as well start putting those down because... That way I don't get too confused. Everything else should be that light brown. Unless you teleport to the cursor. Oh, nice. And how would you farm that? Like, is that just like uh, drops, like a random drop from a certain enemy type? Or is it like you have to get materials to make it from those um, underground biome baddies? Doink. What, 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 what? There we go. Why is that so hard? I have a feeling we're gonna finish early today, and if we do, then I'll walk you all through the process of how to like create a pattern. I'll help you find a sprite online, maybe for like a Terraria potion, and show you how to make a pattern like I made for these. And then we can make another small thing, because these are looking pretty fat. Airframe Gaming, what's going on? What's up, what's up, what's up? Come on in, how you doing? We're just making some Terraria stuff. I wonder if the quality would be okay if I zoom in on this. Um... Here, let's see if I can do that. Studio mode. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. I was a little frustrated earlier because our our stream was crashing because of the internet and stuff like that, but uh, I think we're okay now. I think we're okay. So I'm gonna look at the desk camera. I'm gonna make sure it's unlocked and I'm gonna see if I can zoom it in. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Nice. Super cool. Crash screen and then take off speed mode. Hey, we're zoomed in, y'all. Wow, my thumb looks even bigger now. Oh, rip. Curve, rip, rip, rip. Oh, rips all over. Yo, what's up, cat? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We are back, and we are not exploding with the internet. So we are here. I was telling folks about a dream I had where I had my kitty, and I took them to the zoo, but, like, I was just carrying them. And then, like, man, get me out of here. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, and the other part of the dream is that I met, like, two people from my old high school. And they were there to perform in the band. And uh, one person just like totally, I don't know, like ghosted me. I was like, okay. So I went to the other high school best friend and I was like, hey, what's up with that person? They just like totally ghosted me. They're like, oh yeah, they tend to do that. By the way, we're here with work people. And I was like, oh, okay. And I'm like, hey, what's your name? And this guy had a weird like English, British, Australian, New Zealandish accent. It's like dream gibberish. And he's like, hi, my name is Flamio. I'm like, what? Flamio? Like Flamio a hot man? And I was thinking about that, I think, in my dream, because uh, I sent somebody a meme earlier about Flamio Hotman. He's like, no, you can't pronounce it like that. Sometimes it's Flamio, and sometimes it's Flamio. Flamio, Flamio. Ha, ha, ha. And I was like, what are you talking about, bro? What do you mean? He's like, yeah, I'm just Flamio. You're Flamio, Flamio. I'm like, ah. So I woke up. So it's very strange. Wait, as you're friends with Cutie Crafts? I am not friends with Cutie Crafts, but Cutie Crafts is one of my, uh, one of my crafting idols. Like, watching their videos actually, like, inspired me to just, like, try this out. Um, 
And I, I have massive respect for, uh, for Cutie Crafts. If y'all don't know, that's another YouTuber who, like, does Perler Bead tutorials and, and Perler Bead, uh, other crafting things. They're super, super, super talented. And they've worked really hard. Uh, so no, I'm not friends with them, but they're super cool. A very, 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 lots of kudos from me to them. Pew, 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 pew. That's me sending the kudos to them. But, but yeah, that guy was really weird. That Flanio Daniel. This is super tiny compared to what I thought it was going to be. I wonder if I should just make the rest of them. But I, I kind of like how he's small because ornaments are supposed to be small. So, do I make 3D pearly bead art? So, that's a really great question, our fan. Uh, not yet, but it is on the list. So, up until once we get through like Christmas time, once we finish making these like holiday tree ornaments starting January, we're going to start doing other experiments. And some people on our Discord have been sending us 3D pearly bead patterns to try. And I've never tried it, and I'm very excited to do something with it. Um, and if you want to check some of those out, feel free to check out the Discord. No pressure. That's where other people are also posting their art and just hanging out. Uh, and other things. So, there's that. Hopefully that'll pop up soon. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see what I'm going to do now. I was going to pull up... Uh, shoot. ADHD kicking in. Ah, I forgot. Oh, any tape. That's what I need. Oh, yeah. So this guide, he's a nice guy. And I think it's horrible that to get to hard mode, you have to sacrifice him and he has to die. Which makes sense because, like, okay, you, you know the basics of the game. You don't need him anymore, but, like, it's horrifying. Horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. So what we're doing right now is putting tape on our beads and pushing down a little bit, making sure they're all down there. Also, almost like sticking the tape to the uh, to the pegboard itself, so it doesn't raise. Because if it raises, if it raises the roof, that can't. That's not always a good thing because it just lifts the the beads off of the pegboard, and then chaos ensues. Professor Chaos. Um. So thinking about our first. Oh, we've added we added the quotes bot to come back. Um. The mask and tape method, you know it, bucko. Um, although I did get a comment from somebody saying, Hey man, if you just put your pegboard also underneath heavy books, it'll warp back to normal. And while I do believe them, I'm too scared to try it. Because pegboards be expensive, man. They really do be like that. Um, so we've had a quote bot back. So if y'all tap in, exclamation mark quote. Oh, bam! It pops up. Um, I need to get the timer on to remind folks that it's up in Adam. Up in Adam's apple. You know what I mean? I know how numbers work. I can't... Sometimes it's interesting because, like, I don't remember the context for these. Uh, and we just have to, like, guess. Just, like, what the heck I was talking about in that moment, you know? Which I cannot remember. So when it comes to poking hose, I definitely like doing the edges first until I can get like a nice little square and I know I'm not missing any more beads and then I can just like go in until they're all done. Everybody smap your hands. What was that? It's been, this is a collection of like when I used to be on Twitch and like play games. So a lot of them are in response to the game I was playing or like doing pixel art or working on my V-Roid model. Uh, but a lot of these are like super out of context. I have, yeah, no idea. No idea whatsoever. And there's like 71 quotes. Oh, that was quick. That was easy. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is loosen up the tape on all the sides with a little handy dandy tweezers. And then we're gonna flip it a floppity and move it a oppity. And put it right here. Hey yo, we got it. We got it, my dudes. It is the guide. My guide. Raz, can we see your best slash favorite artwork? Um you know. That's a good question. I don't think it's here. Uh, some of my best things and favorite things I've ever made have been gifts. And so like other folks have it, like we might have pictures of it. What the heck, why is it? Yeah, get out of there. Um, we might have pictures of existing art pieces, but I usually don't keep my favorite and best art because like I usually make as a gift to my partner, Mataz, or maybe for like my niece or whatever. Burnt, burnt. Yeah, I don't remember either. 
Yeah, we got. Um, but in the meantime, what we can do is look at this. Let's see how KK Slider came out. What bam? Kick a slider. Uh, looking pretty good. It's mostly flat, flat melty, without being super flat on the other side. So now we're gonna remove the tape. Um, Thursday night, I had told some peeps I'm like, okay, I promise I'm gonna get you your surprise by Friday. So I stayed up until midnight, trying to work on some things, and I had like, I already gave it to them, but I had like pictures of it. It was like guts and a and a softball. That's from Berserk. So that's pretty fun. And so we're going to try a new thing with our ornaments today. Instead of making it with the jump ring, with our... Uh, the other ones we've been making with, like, almost keychain materials. So we've been, like, putting in jump rings. And last Saturday, I was flipping out because I was having so much trouble getting the jump rings to work. And it's because I didn't do, like, these Christmas toppers. And they're already on the Christmas tree. So I can't really show you those. But an alternative... I thought about was this so I'm gonna use my tweezers to make sure that this hole is kind of poked all the way through one of these and yeah, maybe this one probably should have done that before the last time I tried doing this I jammed this tweezer on the other end through my finger there it is so now we're gonna go right through it open it up a little bit so now we got a nice little hole there and we have some Yarn. So we're going to try this. I'm going to try to put it in here. And I'm going to try to like shove it, shove it through. Although I don't know. Maybe I, should, I need a threading needle, which I can get my hands on. But we're going to try this. We're going to try wrapping it around. And see if that's going to fit through. Come on, get in there. Then we shove. Oh, dang it. My favorite thing to make, uh, lately these Christmas ornaments, these toppers have been really fun to make and keychains are really cool. Um, but speaking of, let me go get a threading needle real quick. Luckily this handy dandy uh, kit was hanging out right here and I hope um, there's something in here. Um, but my favorite thing to make, honestly, like I don't really decorate my residence with a lot of my creations but i do like to give them away to people so i think anything that's like a gift has been really nice for me to make and really fun i think i see a needle right here if i can just grab it eh, just yeah let me just let me just yeah got it da -da. how about you all do you all have a favorite thing to make I know some people like making magnets they put in their fridge. Some people like making keychains, like I mentioned. Oh, wait, this is the hard part. I don't know if I can get this through here. Because it's so big. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, the struggle is real. Oh, no. We're going to struggle real hard with this stuff right here. This might be too fat. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. I got an idea. make pearly bead artwork and my favorite thing to make are swords Ooh, what kind of swords are you making like terraria swords are you making like swords from like different video games is this no this might not be i have this giant bag here and i'm kind of sifting through it 
I'm looking for a collection of threading things that could be useful. There's a pen there. Nope. Okay. Where is that? Hmm. I have to make a phone call. BRB. Oh, long search of anime. Nice. Let's see. Right, let me put this bag back. BRB. This is what I was looking for. Dun, 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 dun. This little kid here has been very instrumental in my crochet stuff. And there is one needle in here. There's one needle somewhere in here. Eh. Oh, there it is, the yellow one. So get the scissors out of the way. Here we go. So these are way big and fat, and hopefully they'll be able to help me like thread one of these through the perler bead creation and turn it into an ornament so this is a lot easier to get through but i'm wondering if it's going to be too thick to get through the um hole there in kk slider's head okay so we got it through right yeah what even is this song Oh, it's from Sonic 3. Le Dauphine de l'Aqua Doc Secret. Nice. Oh, it might be working. Oh, if we had one more that was just slightly thinner. Ah, dang it. Replay Breath of the Wild. Nice. Hmm. Now, how can I make this go in this if this is too thick? Let's try opening it up a little bit more. There we go. I'm gonna go from this end and try close opening it up that way. It's quite a large hole now. Let's just see if this will go right through. Yeah! Can we squeeze that through? Oh, that's probably that's probably gonna break it if I do that way. Dang it. But what I could do is as we have it here, now I'm gonna shove it through the power of friendship and anime on my side. Is that working? No. This one is probably too too split up like that. So let's try um, this purple one. This might be too thick, but I'm gonna try it. Or too stranded. Too death stranding? Yeah, this is too... I don't know the terminology, but it's too too twined up. Add some dill salmon and cake is licking the plate. Mmm, what a good kitty. Let's see if this will work. I just shove it in. Are you going in there? Come on. Dang it. Hmm. I wonder if I lick the edges and make it super... Super... Like, tight like that. Hmm. We need, like, some really, really thin yarn. Oh, wait a second. Keep shoving it in there. Keep shoving. Keep shoving. Keep shoving it. Keep shoving it. Oh, I think we got it. At least pieces of it. Is it gonna be enough? <gasps> we did it! Oh my gosh, y'all, we did it! Look it! We did it! Oh my god! Wow! Yo, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. That took a lot of, uh... A lot of chutzpah and a lot of determination, but we got it through. 
Doink. Ta da! Sick. Kickish ladders. He's so beautiful. Look at the beauty of him. Hello, hello, hello. This music is like what happens when I try to cook clowns. Clowns ever. This I remember was during our Animal Crossing tour, where I remember that they had the uh, the clown music playing. I had, did I say they? I had the clown music playing in my own kitchen, and um, I just felt like a clown. Okay, now we got Celeste. What bam? So Celeste is done. So let's go ahead and. This one is also going to be hard to make a hole through, but let's uh, let's get the tape off. One thing at a time. Okay, we know that the white yarn works, and like there's. Hopefully I have other ones that I can use. Oh, got some tape here. And then played Celeste. Yo, it's on sale, or it was on sale up until recently, I think I saw. Um, I think I played it on my brother's Switch, but I actually haven't tried it myself. Um, and now I can't find... There it is. This is what I was looking for. How about you? Did you ever beat it? Because I've seen some other people play it, and it's like... I play things like Hollow Knight, which can be the platforming can be rage inducing, but sometimes I feel like Celeste can also be rage inducing. Like super duper rage inducing. Okay. Ta da! So, now let's try poking a hole through here without stabbing ourselves. So, I think this one might be the easiest one, so I'm gonna try this one first. Got it through. Nice. Okay, open it up on this end. And we're also gonna open it up on this end. And then I think we were using this one. So we're gonna open it up a little bit more. Enough so yeah, now they can fit through on this end. Hey, what's up, Riffin? We gotta figure it out. Check it out. Da -da on KK slider. Now we have ba -ba 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 the string here. Now we don't have to worry about using jump rings. We just have to worry about uh, losing our mind while trying to push this through. Easy enough. It's an easy enough trade, you know. So look at the tip. As gross as that might sound, like putting yarn in your mouth, can make things easier. If it works, that is. If your yarn isn't too, like, ready. There it is. There it is. And just keep fitting into it and keep shoving it in there. Until it's all, at least a little bit shows up on the other side. You can just pull it on through. Pull on through to the other side. Ah. Hold that in there. And just shove this in there. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I think I see it. Yeah! It worked again! Raz, we're gonna do a face reveal? Oh, there is a face reveal. I showed you all my face in the Discord. If you go to Pet the Pets, that little channel there, I've shown everybody my true face. My real, super duper real identity face. Sick. Sick, 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 sick. We did it. We did it. Super awesome possum time. this ba -ba! we got celeste what a cutie we just have to worry about losing our mind mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know what i'm saying another one down so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna iron two more things right three more things uh let's go with two because i just cut some new paper and i don't want it to go to waste or I forget like how many times I've used it. So we're gonna plug in our iron, and we have it, for, cause this is a little tiny iron, a little baby iron. I have it at three. So I'm gonna leave that cooking over there. I'm gonna make some space so when we iron, it's not gonna be all crazy town. Uh, these are nifty. Good for crocheting. 
Yo, so we actually haven't started the Would You Rather for today. Would you rather have a child every year for 20 years or never have any children at all? And you know what? I would not put my partner Matas through that, but if it was me, if I had to carry a child every year for 20 years, uh, I'm gonna say no thanks, man. That sounds like a lot. Even though I'd have my own army of gamers, rise up gamers, and we have like unlimited multiplayer. You know what I'm saying? Me subscribe to Razzle Seas. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Irfan. Really appreciate you. It goes a long way. Absolutely. So thank you so much. But yeah, how about you all? Would you have? And I'm gonna I'm gonna put the onus on you whether you have the parts to do this or not. You would have to be the one that has to give birth to all these children. Would you do it? Or would you not do it? What are you gonna do, huh? That reminds me of the story of Papa Pants. He's another streamer and my cousin. And when he was in school, uh, I think he's finally telling the story. There was like uh, this bully who would like, you know, talk to people and like, he'd be like, just talk smack and whatever. And at some point, there's like a big uh, sort of, what do you call it? Like a, an assembly. And at the assembly, he was like talking a bunch of smack. Look, it's a new leaf. Animal Crossing. Rise up, gamer army. And, um,. So he, the bully's talking smack to him and his friends, and he gets up in the middle of the assembly. It was like before it had started. Um, so like no one was speaking or anything. So the bully's getting up in him and his grill and his face or whatever, or someone else's face. And he stands up to him and he raises his arms like a, like a big mega giga chad. And he says in Spanish, Que vas a hacer? Que vas a hacer? Que vas a hacer? Which is just screaming like, what are you going to do? What are you gonna do? At the top of his lungs, and everyone's staring at him, and the bully, and the bully's like, oh, oh, and he walks away. Got him. Got him. All righty, man. See you later. Twenty years, one children in army. Thanks for swinging by, your friend. Appreciate you. Hopefully, we we'll catch you again on the flip of the flop. See you real soon. So that's that's my classic pop up pants anti bully story. Don't don't start bullying. Because Papa Pants is going to come at you and ask you what you're going to do. And then you're going to be so embarrassed that you don't know what to do. Bam. That's flatty and that's melty. Our boy Timmy! Timmy! It really does sound like Mr. Pa uh, Papa Pants. Oh, it surely does, because it's all him. He's that kind of guy. Move the mousey over here a little bit. So, would you rather take amazing selfies but look terrible in all other photos or be photogenic everywhere but in your selfies? I don't think I take a lot of selfies. Would you rather take amazing selfies but look terrible in all of their photos? Or be photogenic everywhere but in selfies? I guess I'd do the second one. Be photogenic everywhere besides selfies? Because, like, I don't really take a lot of selfies. I take pictures of my kitties. That's the, that's probably what my phone is filled up with the most, is pictures of the kitties. Of Loki pants and dog pants. They're so sweet. Those are some sweet kitties. I don't do several things, so yeah, two from you. Good afternoon. Anyone ever use a cricket heat press instead of an iron? Hey, diamonds and stitches with Susan. What's going on? Uh, we actually know somebody in our Discord who says they got a cricket to to do to use these. I don't know if it was Mad Rad, and I don't know if he's here right now. Easily the latter. No selfies. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not sure. Diamonds and stitches with Susan. I can't really give you an answer like from personal experience, but if Mad Rad is swinging by anytime soon. Maybe he can tell you what he thinks. Have you used it yet? Slash know the difference? I'm using right now this little baby iron I got off of uh, Amazon, I think. But yeah, what kind of uh, Perler Beat stuff do you make? Do you make video game stuff? Animal stuff? Okay, I'm in Discord. Oh, Ken's girl. Hey, what's up, Ken's girl? What up, what up, what up, what up? Yeah, I would say ask Mad Rad. I think I'm almost pretty sure he's the one who's used for God of Cricket to use specifically. So. And if you want, I can just ping him. 
uh, later when we're free. Oh, that's like super melted over there. In, in, in. That was good. Then it'd be perfectly flat melted. And in fact, we don't want to do that because we need a hole to to poke the uh, the yarn through. Add the mini rego, but I've tried it. Ooh, nice. This is pretty good. Let's go flatten that under a heavy up. Yeah, the unicorns you made came out super awesome. Very cute. Um, okay, now let's... Ooh, we're going to make our next Terraria person. And then get back to ironing. To change it up, so I'm going to turn this off real quick. Yeah. Oh, you're very welcome. Let's see that next, would you rather? Would you rather be gassy on a first date or your wedding night? Uh, Easily wedding night. Because, spoiler y'all, I'm gassy all the time. So... It is what it is, but maybe, you know, some people got to get, you know, kind of acclimated to somebody before they accept them for all their gassiness. I don't know how Mataz did it, but very grateful that I've been accepted with all my gas included. All right, so it looks like we got a few colors here. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> we need to get grays for sure, and luckily we have a bunch of different grays. The reds, though, that's going to be difficult. We might just have to do it all red. Because uh, we don't have a lot of shit. We have that rust color, but I don't think it's going to come in handy too much here. So let's go grab our red. He's great. I wanted to work on Hermione, but the color scheme was confusing me on her hair. There are a couple of colors that are very similar. Yeah, for sure. Like, I have these two tans. And one is called tan, I think. One is called sand. And it's like, even within the, this lighting, it's really hard to tell, but this one is lighter than this one, but it's very, 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 very similar. Wedding night, she would know what she got herself into by then. It'd basically be expected. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. Both sound like interesting character building experiences. <laughs> hey, it's me, Raz. Nice to meet you. Oh, well, now you know. I'm just really gassy. Like, it's weird if I <laughs> wouldn't be. Yeah, that's true. It's like, hey, you're normally gassy. Why aren't you gassy right now on our wedding night? What have you eaten? Dark gray, which we're running kind of low on. We have our medium gray, which we have a lot of. Right now, our desk is jammed. All right, here's a red. It calls for cheddar and butterscotch. Okay, so cheddar and butterscotch look very similar. I'm almost sure this is cheddar because it comes with the the bean. I almost said it again. The bean bid. No, not the bean bid. The bead bin. I'm almost completely sure this is cheddar. But butterscotch, I was looking at the website a couple of days ago, and it looks super, 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 super similar. Um, and if you have the Harry Potter kit, it probably hasn't there already, but it's like you have to mix them and sort them. But that is so annoying when you have to sort the, the, the colors of the beads, and they're, like, so similar. Like, oh, it's so frustrating. So... What I do normally is I sort them first and then take a day, like go to sleep. And the next day I'll look through the two bins and be like, okay, this doesn't belong here. This doesn't belong here. Let's move this. Let's move that. And that's been useful. But yeah, the bean bin makes a, comes back with a vengeance. All right, let's see guys. Got the red and the grays. We have, I guess we need blue. It says here, would you rather Danny DeVito or Danny Trejo play you in a movie? Hmm, interesting. Good question. All right. We just need two blues. I'm just going to put them out here. One, two. Beep, beep. Right there. Yeah. Like this purpley red so i guess we'll use that as the outline and go with that yeah the kid i have is the colors separated oh they're separated that's so nice when i looked at the animal crossing one uh they are not separated so uh it's like all mixed and it's like have fun and i'm like mm, maybe not maybe i don't want to do that right now donnie trejo 
Yeah, Danny Trejo is a national treasure. He's awesome. He's fantastic. Big fan of his work. But Danny DeVito is also awesome. Hmm. Who would it be? But only as the uncle in Spy Kids? <laughs> That's very specific. I think I picked Danny Trejo from Bubble Boy. That'd be my version of Danny Trejo. Oh great, how's that one coming this weekend? Oh nice! That's where that's where these patterns are coming from. So our Celeste that we just did as an ornament and our KK slider that is now underneath a bunch of beads and bins over there in the back. Whoops. Okay, we're gonna make the outline of the hats in this weird magenta color. But now I'm wondering if I should just do it in black, but should be fine. We'll see how it looks. And if you don't like how it looks, we'll just change it. To three. And then that is that. And you know what? Let me look at the Terraria sprites because there are different versions of this. Need to find a pattern of Diana. She's my favorite. Oh, which villager is Diana? What kind of animal is she? Is she a squirrel? Or a hippo? Or a cat? Or a frog? Uh, shoot, what was I gonna check? Uh, oh, Santa Terraria. Let's find this place. That one, and then there's that one. But I can't tell unless I put it in Ace Pack, which I'm not gonna do right now. Oh, the deer? Nice. Purple swirl on her head. Super cute. Put this here. There's like a space, and then we get bam. Diana has been the kindest villager. Nice. Diana's a deer. Oh dear. Oh bother. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough to differentiate the red, so we're just gonna be one solid red color. But we have enough grays. That's nice. Besides Dottie, is Dottie the elephant? Or the hippo? No, Dottie's a cat, isn't it? I think Dottie's a cat. But it could be wrong. Ah, there's so many different uh, grays. A bunny wabbit. So cute. So cute. Love Animal Crossing. Wow, I'm making a mess. Wink. Put that there. Up, well, up here. And her home is beautiful. I have her on one of my islands and I have to let her leave. <laughs> nice. Have you all ever played the Happy Home Designer, the DLC? Because that one is so much fun. I'm very garbage at it, but my partner Mataz, they are so good at it. They're very talented at interior design. But me, not so much. And it's just like so relaxing and so calming. Ah, no, that's not what I have to do. I didn't mean to like throw them all over the place. Holy moly. Yeah, nice. I haven't been like watched other people play it. Yeah, it's it's very, like I was literally watching Matas play and be like, wow, you're really good at this. You have an eye for this sort of stuff. But me, uh, I don't have that taste or that experience to, to be able to be like, oh, we should put this here and put this there and then bada bing and then we're gonna bada boom. And she just does it so effortlessly. Hmm. There's a lot of different grays here. But we don't have enough different grays at our disposal. So I'm gonna put that one there. We're gonna have to make some edits on the fly, y'all. And that's okay. So this gray is gonna be like this. Yeah, we'll do that. And then there's gonna be, oh, dang it. Hmm. We only have three different grays, but it calls for four. Wait, wait a second, I have an idea. We can use mist. It's like a blue, blue type of gray. So I'm gonna use, I'm 
this down first to differentiate where that's gonna go. It kind of goes with like the snowy style. numbers down. Once I get the numbers down, we should be okay. Be like two, somewhere over here. Okay, cool. Sick. I'll leave that there for now. Whoa, just slapped my mic. I feel like I'm so crowded everywhere all the time. Sometimes I wish I had a bigger desk, but it's very cozy to have it like in this nice little corner that I have here. It's like in a built-in gap. So it's pretty sweet. I'm gonna put the blue eyes white dragon down for sure because we know exactly where those go. This goes right here. And if we know where that goes, then we know that this goes further down. This goes one, two, one right here. And so that means this goes one, two, right there. And this one goes, there's two there and then two there. It should be right. Now let's go put in a regular graze. Yeah. And then this goes like right here. Come on, bam. And then a couple more down here. Two more, yep. Okay, that fits, we're on the right track. This is a weird one. I usually don't do this in the sense of like putting a bunch of random different colors all over the place, but I kind of feel like I'm stuck here and I have no choice. A baby's got to do what a baby's got to do, you know what I mean? Alright, looks like we need a few brown for the outline. It's going to go right here. And now we need this brown here. And then we're going to move this brown right over here. Because this is where the eyeballs go. Wha bam bam bam. Having a small desk kind of forces you to keep it clean and organized, which is good. That's true. But everything around my desk, like underneath my desk and next to my desk, that's usually a huge hot mess. <laughs> uh, but one day, one day we'll be able to get it sorted. Get it all under control. All right, we're going to make the white of the beard. Then we don't have to worry about the white beads anymore. Beat over here. White beat over there. White beat over here. White beat over there. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for the white beats. Nice. We did it. Let's see. Would you rather be able to take back anything you say or hear any conversation that is about you? Huh. We don't talk about the non death zone, it's okay. If it's out of the peripheral, then it doesn't matter. That's what I tell myself, at least. Ooh, we can do rosy cheeks. So I'm gonna use this, this pink right here. It's kind of like a peach, so it kind of works. Let's get him a rosy nose, too, while we're at it. Hear any conversation? Uh, cat wants to take back things. Ken's girl wants to hear conversations. I think for me, before I was diagnosed with ADHD and understanding that like, oh snap, I don't have to say everything that comes right to my head. I had, I had to practice a lot to be like, let me think about what I want to say before I say it. And like it to this day, it takes a really concerted effort and it's like really difficult to do. Um, but I feel like I've gotten a lot better. <laughs> you don't talk much. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, but I think like if you were to ask past me, I'd be like, yo, take back everything I said. But present me, I'm like, mm, maybe I'm just more nosy and I care less about what I say. <laughs> and I'd rather just hear everyone else's conversation about me. I want to hear people say, oh my God, did you see the stream? The internet exploded again. Oh my gosh, classic Raz and his internet on Saturdays. 
is what I imagine people would say. Okay, now we have the light grays. Let's do the beard first. It is difficult. It do be hard. This isn't light gray. This is a uh, mist. Where's our light gray? No. What? Did I just hide it? No. What the heck? Did I never take out my light grays? What? Am I? I feel like I'm. Oh, these. This is light gray. I was confusing light gray with mist. Da da da. Need to go with the ladder too. I always, whenever someone says the ladder, A, it makes them sound very smart. So good on you, way to go. Uh, and that's not me being sarcastic. This is very complimentary of me. But I always have to like say it out loud, the former and the ladder. Okay, former is first, ladder is second. Every single time, every single time. But thanks for keeping us on our toes, everybody, with your cool language. The ladder. Uh, the ladder! Climb the ladder! Shoot the ladder! Shoot the ladders! I don't think I grew up playing that game. Is that game fun? I had blocks to play as a kid. And I would just like make stuff. And then my little brother would come around and just break it. And I'd be like, gosh, dang it. Gotta make it all over again. Because sometimes it really do be like that, no. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna put some white in the hat. Because there is light gray and it calls for it to be here, but there's another lighter gray there, but I think it should be white. So I'm going to do what I want. Is it consistent? Probably not, but close enough. Okay, this dark gray should be this regular gray. Like that. And then, yeah, the rest of it I'm going to do white. The Super Guns Mario Childhood Home had the best blocks. Yo. Yeah, our blocks are pretty sweet. They're like... Some are curvy. Some are like... Uh, rectangular cubes. I would always build like a really big tower and then throw some Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels leading the way. All over the place. Unfinished pine slabs of wood. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yo, HH. What up, what up, what up? What's going on? Oh, you know what this is? This is the ball. I'm going to do that all in dark gray, actually. So that we can differentiate it. Because right now it does not look like it. So I'm going to change that up real quick. I was like looking at the design being like, what the heck are we doing over here? But this is like the ball of the hats. There we go. Now it looks, looks clean. 22,390 points. Nice. Way to go, HH. Get those points, man. My mom would be like, okay, let's go. But my brother and I would see being architects. But mom, I'm building a whole society here. We have the aqueduct here. And this is where people go use the bathroom. And this is where the mayor's office is. I'm just trying to build some stuff. Let's go, sweetie. We got things to do. Nah, ma'am. Again with the burnt dirt. What are the odds of it being again the same quote again? Yeah, you got to get the toilet. Yeah, of course. We all know that's vital in... Uh, designing societies with our, our building blocks. Forget the playground. It's all about the sewage system. And the bus depots. And where the garbage trucks go to sleep at night. The full society right there. Mm -hmm. We live in a society. Um, there we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We got Santa. Looks a little weird. But I like it. And I'm wondering if we should change out the light tan with this to make the cheeks look extra rosy with the um, the difference. So I think I'm going to change that now, actually. I'm going to put these beads down before I make a mess. He looks great. Oh, thanks, cat. Put this down. Oh. Get back. Get back. Get the, there we go. Move those there. So I'm going to put one, two, point. Oh, 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 get back here. Get back. Oh, there we go. Then we're going to. What? What? Dang it. Why is this so hard? Why am I all of a sudden getting like shaky hands? I always get shaky hands, but dang. Oh my god, his face is missing. Mario is missing, but instead of Mario, it's his face. Santa Pepe. Where'd you put your face? Oh no, no. Santa Pepe. Come on, where is your face? 
That was a little better. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, let's tape it up. Let's tape up good old Santa Claus. Oh yeah. Type Santa Claus music. Here we go. What has been the biggest one you've ever done? Uh, I've made like a lot of big size things and then put together into like a what do you call it? It's like in a huge frame, so it's kind of almost like a certificate sort of deal. It's like a smorgasbord. It's basically like, how do you say, uh, yeah, I don't know how you would say this, how to describe it. Um, but I made it with uh, Froki, because Mataz, my partner, loves Froki as the Pokemon. So I had a uh, little baby Froki as you would find it in the Pokédex, so that's small sprite. Then a large uh, Froki that we doubled the size, and then we had the words and the number and old school Pokédex fonts of Froki. That was really fun. My work had a Christmas party last night, and one of the tech support guys was saying, this poor 27-year-old man, lots of kids crying on him. Oh my gosh. He's like, what do you want for Christmas? I don't know. I want to solve global warming and end world hunger. Wow! That's tear inducing for sure. I had to play Santa once. And I think people were very nervous about me playing Santa because they, they knew like reserved Raz, but they didn't know performer Raz. And they didn't know like I, not a trained actor, but I did some acting in college. And I was like, you know, you don't just like turn it on when, like, you turn it on when you need it, right? So like, they're like, oh God, here comes Santa Claus. And also I had my beard inside out. So that was like super duper awkward. And I didn't realize until the whole thing was over. But, you know, I was just out there. And I think it was when I was in Japan. And they're like, oh, this guy, this, he's not very lively. Is it going to be okay? Because I was kind of reserved. Because that's just who I am in general. A reserved kind of guy. Unless I'm performing. And, um, yeah, I went out and I killed it. And everyone was like, damn, dude. You were the surprisingly best Santa we could have asked for. I'm like, damn straight. Got him. They're like, who is this shy Santa? But as soon as I got on the stage... It was like for a performance too. And like entertaining kids, like ad libbing and stuff, and like talking to kids. Uh, as Santa, as opposed to like going on a script. And it was in front of all their parents too, so I get why they were like, oh god, what is this shy Santa gonna do? What is he gonna say? Don't embarrass us, please. Yo, is it story time so i have something here that we can check out uh let me pull this up i have it right here we have a spin the wheel well, let me show you the the actual thingy here so let me let me let me let me let me let me, let me, let me show you let me show you let me show you and it is right over here in this part which i'm getting to real quick blah 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 blah, blah. There we go. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I think it's working. I think it's working. So, um, ba -bam, we have uh, a win, a uh, spin to win. Whoop, 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 whoop. So we got some stories here, but where do the stories come from? Well, they come from Jeopardy. Beep, -da -beep -da -bee. We made this for a debut a few months ago, and we never super utilized it. Uh, so we have different categories here. We have other stories, we have career stories, we have life advice, we have teacher stories and college stories. And so I've set up a wheel so that we can spin the wheel and get to a story because we haven't heard all these. Some of us have heard some of these, but. So let's go to the wheel and we're going to open the big category. And here are all the categories and from here, we're gonna find something. So let's click it. Uh, let's see where we're going. 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 Oh, looks like we got a Korea story. Yeah. Nice. So now we go to Korea stories. Boink. And now we spin to win. Oh my god, we got splitting my head open while almost pooping my pants. Parentheses, my first day at my first post-college job. Oh my goodness. Let me fix that by putting a parentheses marker there. And now we're going to save it. Yes, yeah, save. And now we're going to go back. And now we're going to turn this off. 
and now we're back soju story please thank you <laughs> i had to double take and split in my head and put my pants box well it's true we we got the red chicken store we got a whole bunch of stuff here uh so let me let me tell you the story while we while we pop some of some of these beans right here real quick uh so what had happened was we were it was my first hmm my first week in south korea and in South Korea, I was working as an English teacher, and I was replacing another English teacher and in the middle of their year. So to celebrate their last day, we all went out, had some food, had some liquids. And it turns out that like when you go into a new place and eat food you're not familiar with, and especially when it's spicy and very uh, different than what you're used to, it might make an effect on your stomach. And they, the company, the kindergarten, put me up in, in a love motel. And so a love motel is usually where you might go and uh, hang out with uh, somebody that you love a lot or want to love for a short period of time. So I'm going to miss this. I'm heading to lunch. Hey, enjoy your lunch. Yeah, I might still be back for like another hour and a half, but no rush. Thanks for swinging by. Appreciate you. Um, and you can tell it's a love motel because of the lighting and the different switches that you can click and also what they put in jars but that's besides the point so i was staying in that motel and a co-worker a new co-worker was like hey look why don't you just sleep on the floor over here in my place it's like a six minute walk to the school so in the morning you could just walk to school and you don't have to worry about like getting a cat and all that stuff very gracious i i accepted so slept on the floor it wasn't super uncomfortable but i woke up and then love for a short period of time hey you know you know yeah you know you know what i mean you know you know what i'm talking about and um yeah so from there hey we got santa santa claus baby um i woke up on the floor and i was like very very sleepy because i wasn't used to i was still jet lagged and all this stuff and uh my cork is like hey i'm getting ready I'm, I'm gonna leave soon if you're not ready i'm like oh uh, yeah they're like just wake me up when you're out the door and then, because I had, like, all my clothes on or whatever. And they're like, okay, we're leaving now. And I was like, okay. But as soon as I was getting up, my stomach went. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. I recognize that that grumble. That's the grumble of me having to take a super massive dump. And uh, I was like, uh, should I use the bathroom? Should I just walk to school? And I was like, ah, I can hold it. And no worries. I can just get to school. So we start walking and then we go downstairs, we meet the other coworkers, we're walking to school and six minutes away, five minutes away, four minutes away, the grumbles just keep increasing. And the stomach wants its vengeance. I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> um, so I'm like walking and I'm like, hey, so when we get to school, I haven't been there yet. What's, uh, where are the bathrooms? They're like, oh, you know, there's, so in Korea, they have very vertical, buildings right so it's like first floor second floor third floor because 70 percent of the country is mountainous so they build up vertically and so like the first floor might be a bank second floor is a restaurant the third floor is a school the fifth floor is a doctor's office the sixth floor is a whatever and sorry i walk into school bleep, 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 bleep. and my stomach again just like bleep, 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 bleep. and uh there was a 7-eleven on the way I was like hey do you think of the bathroom they're like nah not really you have to go into the building by where the school is i'm like oh my god so i'm like like walking like, you know, like when you need to poop your pants, but you know, you don't want to poop your pants. So like kind of walking like that. So trying to get there it's four minutes to the school, three minutes to the school, two minutes to the school. And it's, it's getting bad y'all. Like it's, 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 it's bubbling and gurgling. I'm like, oh my God, dude, is, am I going to poop my pants on the first day of school slash my first day of my first real adult job when you need to poop your pants? Oh yeah. The ominous grumbling is coming, baby. And so I'm there one minute to the school. I see the school. And they, I'm like, which building is it? And they point it out. I'm like, okay. So I go in there. And basically, on the first floor, there are no bathrooms. On the second floor was the ladies' bathroom. And on the third floor was the guys' bathroom. And every floor, it alternates. So it's like ladies' bathroom, guys' bathroom, ladies' bathroom, guys' bathroom. And so I quickly walked up the stairs, ooh, you know, as best as I could, because the elevators are jam-packed with all these kids. And so I... Once I get to that third floor, at this point, it's like I'm sweating bullets. My stomach is telling me, like, emergency. The klaxons are blaring. It's, it's going to be crazy town if I don't take care of business. So I quickly, quickly, like, burst into a stall. And in one fell swoop motion, I get in the toilet or in the, in the stall. And I turn around. And as I'm doing it, I'm dropping my pants. So I can sit on the toilet. But as I do, I do, like, okay, so, like, I'm facing this way, and then I go, whoosh, 
to sit on this toilet. Let's say Santa is a toilet, right? So I'm going, excuse me, Santa. So I'm, I'm turning over here. But as I do that and I close the door, my head, let's say this is my head, right into the lock of the bathroom stall. So bam, and I'm like, ow, that really hurt. But you know, I didn't put my pants. I went right in the toilet and everything was cool. It was awesome. It was fantastic. So, oh, super relief. And I get up, you know, I'm washing my hands and you know, I notice that my head is bumping and I'm like, eh, it should, it'll be fine. So I walk up the stairs to the sixth floor where the school was and I walk in and like the kids are arriving, the teachers are getting settled. They're kind of like showing up there and I'm like, hey guys, I'm feeling way better. And they're like, what happened? What's wrong? Well, how did, wh why are you bleeding? I'm like bleeding. And I look and I get my hand to my face and I come back and it's covered in blood. I'm like, uh oh. So I split my head open and it terrified some of the children I was gonna end up teaching. And one of my co teachers is like, oh, let's take you to the fifth floor. I was like, okay. So we go to the fifth floor and there's again like different offices on every floor. And there was a stomach doctor that was there to like help with gastrointestinal stuff. I'm like, guys, it's not that serious. He's like, no, 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 you need stitches. And I'm like, I need what? And, uh, yeah, he just sewed me up right in there and then put a patch on my head boop, and that was my first day of teaching right before I started. Almost put my pants and instead split my head open. So there's that. That's that story. Yay. Story time. Oh, that is not a mouse. I'm like, Hey, Santa, come with me. Boop. There we go. So that was my story. Thank you for listening to my story. y'all. Almost put my pants. <laughs> Same with the crisis last night. Oh no! Hopefully you did not split your head open, and hopefully you did not poop your pants. H H. Ah yeah yeah. Okay, we're gonna take a look at our iron Animal Crossing stuff. Oh, look at Timmy. He's looking so cute. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Timmy and Tommy. Some Timmy and Tommy trivia. There's one way to tell the difference between Timmy and Tommy is that one of them has a mole on their paw. But Tom no, can't remember which one it is. Awkward. Classic Tom. Some more trivia from Timmy and Tom is that they are not his actual biological kids or his nephews. They're not related to him at all. He just calls them that. And he just trains them. He's their mentor. Some more fun trivia. Beedy, 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 beedy. Here, is that Tom Nook is named after Tanuki, like in Mario. And Tanuki is like a mythical creature that Japanese people have statues of and they put in front of their house and they have really goofy smiles and large testicles. That's not me, man. It's, it's Japanese culture, okay? So don't at me with it being like, it's not family friendly, okay? Maybe as the West, we need to not be so crude. Just saying. My mom and I were at strip malls, so all the businesses were on the outside, but not all of them had bathrooms available to customers. Oh, that's the worst. That's horrible. How dare they? How could they do that? That was banged up. So a tip to my perler beaters out there. The smaller your piece is, the lower you want to go on your heat. Uh, because the heat travels and disperses a lot more efficiently. It's when you have a giant piece that you really want to ramp up the heat there. And I'm not talking about the Miami heat, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna heat on your iron. Yo, it's very apparent with cat plushies. Eh? Wait. What do you mean, cat? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What is that response to? Is that a response to poop in your pants? Or to Santa Claus? Or ironing with the heat? I'm so confused. And that's probably my fault more than it is your fault, so. <laughs> Oh, the testicle situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I now I get what you're saying. I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down there. It's just a biological part of your body, y'all. And there's any youth here that have questions, ask your parents. Okay, we're gonna put Santa in some heavy books. Oh no! What could I've done? I've creased the paper here. Luckily, guide's head does not need to, if you were to iron this, the crease would show up there. So we're gonna be right here. I'm beating Undertale Duck. Yo, sick. That's what's up, Swix. What's going on, man? There we go. 
We are in the gag store for maybe two minutes before I tell them, hey, I'm going to run to one of the two restaurants across the street. This is an emergency right now. It happens, man. Sometimes this happened to me yesterday where I was just like at work and I was just like doing my thing. And all of a sudden, I don't know, my pants felt super heavy, like the air around my pants. Not because I pooped my pants. It's just like, you know, you know, when your guts are just telling you like, you got to go real soon. You got to figure it out. I'm like, huh? Guts. What do you mean? It's like, I don't know what happened to you this morning, but uh, you got to take a dump real quick. I'm like, oh my God, this is a surprise to me. How could this happen to me right now? What is the flavor of pine cone? What were we eating? What game was that? Was that Spirit Fair? And I was trying to eat it by mistake? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I get there, I look myself in, and I even take my jacket hat. Hey man, HH, it happens. Sometimes... I remember Miami especially when like it's hot all the time and I would have like a fever and like sometimes you gotta take like a huge dump and I'd just take your shirt off, take all your, like just be naked and just be on the toilet and just be like taking a massive dump. And it's like, oh man, this dump is serious business. This is not a regular, regular enemy dump. This is a boss dump. A boss level dump. It do be like that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got that flat melt. We got that flat melt. Ah, oh, I got a flat melt too much. We melted it too flatly. Florida's a bad place for it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna turn off the iron. And put this under it anymore. While I'm in there having a crisis, I got Elvis Presley on the radio singing Merry Christmas and other whimsical Christmas music trying to serenade me. Like, it's not really the best time. Oh my gosh. Elvis is like, hey man, you want to take a dump? I got you. Let me help you out. I got some cool songs just for that. Classic Elvis, am I right? Florida is a bad place. It's so humid and so hot and you gotta take dumps and it's like, I'm just gonna get naked. So I can comfortably take a dump. Let's see. What's the next would you rather question? Would you rather have skin that changes color based on your emotions or tattoos appear all over your body depicting what you did yesterday? Yo, the tattoo stuff would be so cool. Like peeling your pants off <laughs> that have grafted to your skin, especially jeans that are a little bit tighter when it's like you're super sweaty. Oh my God, that's awful. That is gosh awful. So over here, this would be the center when it's like ironed all the way around. But I think I'm gonna put it like between these five. This one would be the one in the middle. But I think I'm gonna do this one right here. That's more centered between the whole piece. One piece. And hopefully I don't stab myself again. Maybe before I completely iron it, I should um, poke the hole in first. Because this is looking pretty difficult. Okay, don't stab yourself again. Right? Again. There, got it, nice. Poke that hole through. Yeah, hole has been poked. And now, to make it even bigger, we're gonna put this through it. The skin changing colors option, please. I feel like my emotions change often. So I'd be like a chameleon changing colors all the time. Like a chameleos from Monster Hunter. And they'd be like, what's wrong, bro? What's wrong? You seem you seem not okay. You're 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 turning purple now. I'm like, huh? Just, just leave me alone. I'm fine, okay? Okay, I think I'm gonna go with yellow for this one. And I'm gonna cut it here. Let's see if that works. There's always those dumps where you are clean, but you feel like a shower to feel clean. Let's wash it from your mind. Yeah, I get that. Yo, we, if you haven't tried a bidet, y'all, like, get on it. I, I want to save enough money to buy a bidet. Maybe that's what I should ask Santa for. Like, Santa, can I get a bidet so I can feel extra clean after I take my dumps? Because someone told me once, like, well, let me lick this. Let me put this giant off. Oh, this one was too, too threaded, I think. Is that the word? Too worsted, maybe? That, uh... I got some, some split ends stuck in my mouth. So I'm gonna try to shove this in here, little by little, slowly but surely. Um, 
yeah, the day, like someone told me once that like, hey man, if you get poop on your arm, you wouldn't just wash it with paper, would you? I'm like, no, I would wash it with water and soap. They're like, exactly, minus the soap. You probably shouldn't put soap in your butt. And I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of a good point. Like, you're not wrong. Okay, is this it? I think this is it. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little more. Oh, this is it. This has to be it. Yes, I think I see it on the other side. What is it in Japanese animes? Kokola! Is this it? This is it. We did it. RGB non-stop cycling. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. A wonderful topic to cook to. Um, sorry, Mike. That's our bad. We didn't know you were cooking. Let's change subjects. Uh, back to the would you rather question. It'd be super cool to have tattoos that change every day. But my tattoos would be like sitting on the couch, curler beating, playing video games, once every other week, exercising. <laughs> I need to get back into exercising. I said I was going to do some yoga yesterday, but instead I played Valheim with some buddies for a little bit, which is really fun. Ta da! Another one bites the dust. And by biting the dust, I mean another one is finished. Heck yeah. No more bidet chat. Not today. No more bidet. And his little ears are so cute. Did y'all know that Timmy is older than Tommy? And Timmy is the one that wears the... He has the flag in his hat, in his hand. Not in his hat, because I have it in his hand. What are you talking about, Raz? Raz, now you're just giving people false information. News to me. Mm-hmm. Eh. Yep, there we go. Got that tape out. Yeah, I think we... Whenever the tape sticks to it like that, it's, I think, because we over-melted it. And, like, the heat melted the tape to the bead. And, like, it was parsing through on both sides. Yeah, that looks super overly melted on this side. And you can tell, too, by, like, the side. Look how thin that is. Even from here to here, this right here is way thicker. And here is, like, it's like a pancake over there. This is what happened with the Squirtle the other day the other day that was like three weeks ago guys this is gonna be i think the fourth week that we do live streams wednesday and saturdays on twitch or sorry since we moved from twitch on here on youtube and uh there's some really interesting data i would love to show you uh, i'm all about data and numbers i think it's super cool and super fascinating and i would love to show you all i just hope it doesn't come off as like oh yeah help me out with this because this is what i need it's just more like look at this interesting stuff that we have here and how we've been using our time lately and all that stuff. So I'll probably put it in the general chat if people are interested. Come on, Timmy! This tape needs to come out. Get out of your tape. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby! We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Wait, wait, wait. It looks like Tubby Toast from the Teletubbies. Who's Tubby Toast? Is that one of the Teletubbies? Or is that a character in the Teletubbies show? I don't think I ever watched Teletubbies enough to know the difference between some of those characters. I know there's the sun. And we gotta praise the sun, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it's, this hole was already there. It wasn't heat sealed entirely, so this is gonna be easy mode to make that hole. Bada bing, bada boom. Fantastic. And then for Timmy, I think we're also going to do yellow. It wasn't that hard. I thought it was going to be a lot harder to get it through. So now that we figured out a good way to do it and we figured it out live, should I have figured it out live or should I have practiced it beforehand? I probably should have practiced beforehand, but hey, I like showing you. Mm, that's me licking the yarn. Uh, I would say yum, but it is not. Um, we are going to put the yellow one through, make sure, yep, now it fits. So now right here, we're going to shove it right in. There we go. There we go. Keep shoving it. Just keep shoving, just keep shoving right in the air, right in the air. Oh, look at that. See, practice makes better. Look how quickly that took us. 
Michael Pretty plays Metroid Dream. Oh my gosh, Michael Pretty. This is when Mario was first announced to be played by Chris Pratt. And, you know, who's that guy? What's his name? Uh, Michael Pretty? And, oh, oh my god, Michael Pretty. Classic Michael Pretty. And then we have Trent playing Metroid Dread. But no, Mike, Mike. I think this is a gift horse quote. I think this has to have been. Michael Pretty plays Metroid Dream. <laughs> it's a classic. Timmy! Or Timmy! Or Timmy! Yeah, so cute, so cute, so cute. Okay. Now, we should have... These guys should be quick enough. Santa baby. Pito, 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 pito. Santa baby. A death type on my show dream. <laughs> <laughs> Then we have Terraria Guide. Nice. Hmm, I'm wondering. Do I like the black outlet better? Or do I like the actual color outline better? I don't know. I think they both look pretty cool. If you were to ask me for my honest opinion. Let's get that out of the way. The tape is coming off nice and small. Ah! Oh, it's not coming off nice and smooth. I take that back immediately. <laughs> it was coming off nice and smooth until that happened. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. This little piece got stuck there. Looks like he has an orange uh, mustache. Yeah. Yo, Metroid Dread, though, was such a good game. Pretty short, but like most of the Metroid games are. And I'd rather have like a short, really good game than like a long winded game that's a pain in the butt to beat, you know what I mean? I feel so squishy. Uh what was I doing then? I was probably dying in some sort of game like Shin Megami Tensei. And I felt like everything was kicking my butt. We gotta go I guess white string for like Christmas snow. Or Santa baby. Santa baby. Beep to beep to beep to beep. Beep. Get out of here. Beep, tape. Chip, chip. Chip, chip. Chip. There you go. Gotta have so many chunks of tape everywhere now. Alright. Let's look at this shape. This is not tape. Why am I licking tape? This is yarn. And this one, now that we know the, the technique, we just get the. not just the tip. A little bit past the tip, and then hope a little stick in, and then get all pieces around it. And once we get the main threads, oh. once we get it on through on the other side, which we have one piece here, one piece. I wonder if that'll be enough. Yeah, it is enough. Let's go. Let's go, Santa Claus. But I normally do feel squishy and very exposed because I'm not wearing armor. So I'll take maximum damage. Oh no, the tape strikes back! The tape strikes again! I wonder if I should just double knot this because it seems like over time it might not be the best situation. And then I'll cut the tips. Yeah, what? Yeah, try again. Yeah, oh man, I think I just frayed it even worse. Oh, you know what I could use? I can use my handy dandy, like yarn scissors, right here. Ta -da! These would be perfect for the job. See? Nice, just like super cuts. We got Santa! Terraria Santa! Yeah, 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 looks awesome. All right, let's 
look at the guide. This guide. Mm -hmm. These cuts be super. Alright. Luckily, this is a small piece. So we can just. Boink. Dunzo. And now from here. Same as before. Let's poke a hole. Now, this is interesting because we don't have to get the, uh, the ring through. And you know what? We could also, like, not put it in the uppermost bead. We can also put it, like, somewhere in the middle. But now that we've discovered that discovery, uh, we can use that in the future. Yeah, we got it through. This reminds me of uh, Zelda. Oh, it's Ocarina of Time. Let's get another quote up in here. Wait, does anyone want to go on a heist? Wow, oh, God, everything's smashing and breaking. Holy moly. Let's go on a heist, y'all. What should our heist be? Because you can customize it. Should we, like... This is like a pirate heist. But should we make a pixel peep? Sort of a pixely related heist? I wonder. This is the part where the game is supposed to work. I'm pretty sure that was, uh... What were we playing? Was that Hades? When it just wasn't loaded? Have you made a Waluigi? I feel like that'd be super cool. Hey, what's up, Habibi Gaming? What's going on, man? I have not made a Waluigi, but I made a Wario for a buddy. And now that I have those skills to pay the bills, we should be okay. So, Terraria Guide. Let's get him with... Purple I'm gonna make him a little more festive. Purple. Dang, that face. So if you type in heist, well, exclamation mark heist, and a number, like 100, you can join the heist for 100 points and see if uh, you double it, or you might lose it. So we're going to shove this purple yarn in here. Speaking of Waluigi, we're just going to shove it. We're just going to shove it. We're going to shove it some more. And we're going to shove it. And we're going to keep shoving it. The Tari is good. Hey, thanks, man. I don't know if you had a chance to see the Santa. But I'll show you in a second, once I get this uh, yarn through here. Just stuffing the yarn. Stuff it right in. Ahoy! Cat has joined the treasure hunt. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is this... Oh, it's through. Look, you see the purple on the other side? So I'm going to hold it in here. I'm going to grab the purple. Oh. There we go. Oh, is this motivational baby? I think this is. I love that we get Motivational Baby like every other stream. Nostalgic Tides? No, I don't think it is. It might not be Motivational Baby. Oh no, it is Motivational Baby! And the re- Okay, if you don't know what Motivational Baby is, it's this song on our playlist that at some point someone is giving like a football speech, but they have like a really baby, small, high-pitched voice. And it is wild. And they're like, we ain't got to fight and win out there. Yo, we got it. Let's tie another knot just to secure it. What? A crew of pirates and raiders check their flintlocks and sharpen their cutlasses and dis disembark for Blackheart Island. The poisonous fog sends half the crew to Davy Jones' locker. Oh my god. The rest escape with a handful of plunder and a tale of plenty. Oh, geez Louise. Looks like Cat, you won. Way to go, Cat. Me, not so much. Yo, we got a little ornament. So tiny. And now he goes with Santa. Did you see all see? Look, look, look at this tape. It's everywhere. It's all over me. Oh, bang. Santa. Terraria guide. Da da. Looking super sick. I think motivational baby starts now. Listen up, y'all. Maybe not. I'm so sure this is motivational baby. But I could be wrong. Up a little bit here before we add on our next Terraria ornament, and it's gonna be you guessed it from the thumbnail. You got it, it is right here, which I'm gonna grab right now. It's right, what? where is it? Ah, you gotta duck out, have fun with the toilet memories. Hey, thank you, take care. Aha, wait, what? I think I deleted the wrong ones. 
Uh oh. Let's go to our um, trash can and pick out the right kitty. Oh, I think I just minimized my face. That's okay. Because I gotta find this trash can. Trash can key. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. We got it. Okay, so now. Ah, uh, it wasn't motivated. <gasps> Motivational baby, listen, listen. I'm putting the volume up. Motivational baby for the win. Let's go, motivational baby. Thank you for blessing us with all this motivation. So sick. Love motivational baby. Alright, let's go to our pipe board. Beep -a -da -pop -a -da beep -a -da beep 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 Alright, I don't have a grid for this pattern, it looks like, so we gotta just look at the eyeballs and uh and then figure it out. I think this one, though, uh, I'm going to use a black outline. And then we have the perfect amount of grays. So let's do that. Because we do have three. Eh, technically four grays if you count that light blue. But I like keeping my grays uh, just as gray as possible. You know what I'm saying? Let's move this out of the way. Get out of here. Motivational baby is best baby. B to B to B to B. One, two. And then we're going to put this here. I'm going to go one, two down here. And then we're going to go. I'm going to say that this Terraria cat is a combination of both of my kitties. Thor and Loki makes Thoki or lore. Okay. Man, I'm getting kind of hungry. I think Mataz was right when they're like, you should probably eat something before you start. And I was like, yeah, I got it. And then ADHD just clicked in. And I was like, food? I don't need that right now. I need to do everything else. Yeah, kitty legs. Kitty legs, kitty time, kitty legs. Uh, there we go. One, two, three. Bam. And then we gotta go with the old bam rooney right here. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. And then go down this way. Is that right? I think that's too many. One, two, one, two. Maybe not. Maybe that's perfectly the perfectly perfect amount. Yeah, it's right here. Nice. Cool. Then we need either one more or a diagonal. Yeah, this diagonal that up right there. Well, bam. Two more. Perfect. Or should I say perfect? Because we're purring. What am I, some sort of monster hunter cat that makes cat puns all the time? Uh-oh. I think I miscalculated. And I put this way too high. <laughs> what color would you get if you mix brown, white, gray, and beige? Like, paint? Uh, that sounds like a cake, cake mix. Or like brownie mix. Unless this is a joke. And you're setting me up with a punchline. That is not a setup for a joke. I'm just like, curious. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess we'd have to go to like Photoshop and then put in all the colors and see what happens. Maybe when we make a pattern later, 
Uh, we, I want to make a pattern possibly for like a health potion. Because uh, it looks like we're going to have enough time to do that. It's only 235. So when we do that, we can try putting like um, different colors at different opacities and layering them on top of each other and then see what we get. What? What? There we go. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but do. And how many bees? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one more there. That's a problem with not preparing a pattern with a grid. It's hard to like guesstimate when you have just like straight up colors next to each other. Um, uh, that's not right. Dang it! What did I mess up? Ooh, cool. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. One, two. Yep. And then here we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we should have boom, boom. I think this needs to go higher. I think that's a problem. Yeah, got it. Sick. And then we put that there. And yeah, so here's a, let's do some problem solving real time. Here's what you can do if you feel like you need to recenter your piece. Let me grab another pegboard. And what you do, this is also a good technique if you need to like flip it and reverse it, like Missy Elliott, is you get another one, another pegboard, and you try to align it slowly but surely so that the, the pegs are within those beats. And you're gonna flip it, hold on to both, like so. And I think I'm gonna spill some beads right now. Oh no. If I drop this. Did I spill any? Yeah, I did. Oh well. Wasn't too many. Sometimes you have some casualties like that. Uh, and we don't need to flip it again. Just to like put on the... Ah, I think we might. Just to... So that it's... I could just flip the image here, but... Just want to show you in action what this looks like. Yeah. Hey yo, what's up? We're making a kitty cat. It looks just like Loki and Thor. They had like four other kitty cats, but I picked this one. It was closest. And I changed their eye color because I think it's supposed to be like brown. I was like, no, thank you. It's gotta be just like the kitties. Yeah, I was using your embroidery stuff, and I have one of your needles here somewhere because I ended up using something else. So, yeah, I was looking for this, but I found out it's like, oh, this is gonna solve all my problems. But I figured out a different solution. So. Now the question is, where is that needle? It's here somewhere, I bet. And if not, I'll step on it. So. It's only here. Nah, I'll be fine. It's only here by my computer, so if anyone gets hurt, it's just me. I don't want that. <laughs> I know, but better me than you. That's uh, Mataz who came by. I was like, just checking in. And, um... Discovering that I was in fact using their embroidery set to try using that needle that did not work earlier. Cool. We got those colors down. Let's get our dark. Ooh, actually, we need eyeballs. Eh? What the heck is this? I think this is an extra bead. What? Uh oh. I think our kitty's too tall. Yep. It is too tall. How did that happen? Maybe when I transferred stuff over? Weird. Okay everything up one 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 oh no come back one 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 uh. put all these up one There you go. That makes more sense. And now I can put in the eyeball right here. Um, all right, let's get that dark gray. Let's look at our next would you rather question. Would you rather hunt and butcher your own meat or never eat meat again? Easy answer. I'd never eat meat again. Cause that sounds like a lot of work. Really got enough time as it is. And now with the uh, 
The inventions of delicious plant-based veggie burgers. Super yum. Super duper yum. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the ladder. <laughs> I would get the century. <gasps> what is this, Oregon Trail? Yeah, I would definitely like, poison myself and eat the wrong meats and like, and just die. I read a book recently, Into the Wild, where it talks about this guy, Chris McCandless, who in the early 90s was like, hey, I graduated college, I'm going into the wild. And everyone's like, okay, bye. Oh, you know what? This black bead was for this dark gray. Maybe that's where I messed up. I guess we'll find out later. Um, is that a lighter gray? My eyes are playing tricks on me. No, I think that's a regular gray. And uh, yeah, he goes out into the wild and he tries to survive. Uh, he hitchhikes a lot. And then he goes to Alaska and he survives for like 100 plus days. And then he eats these like, he's like hunting and stuff out there. Um, one of the saddest parts of the books is when he shoots and kills a moose. Uh, but then is unable to salvage its meat before it goes bad. He was very upset by it. Um, but he was applying advice that he got from people in the south, like in the desert, to be like, this is how you preserve meat. And he did it wrong. Uh, so a bunch of flies were there and a bunch of maggots, and they, his meat was spoiled. Rest in peace, Moose. His journals got real bleak. Oh, yeah. And it's like, hey, man, I found the meaning of life. All right, I'm going to go get some uh, some berries. If anyone comes back, I'm, I'm dying. Please don't leave me here. Uh, and unfortunately, people found him 19 days later after he died. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. That's crazy. Wait, I, would, I don't think I'd ever be able to do that. And it do really be like that sometimes. You go into the wild and go mess with Mother Nature, and sometimes Mother Nature messes with you. What? Wrong grades. Here, I gotta hold these grades, otherwise I'm gonna get confused again. Hold it in my hands. Hold it in my hands. Blink. Put this one here. Um, There's gonna be white here, so one up here. And one down there. And a couple more right here. And then two more over there. Two more down there. Oh. There you go. Another one right here. Um. Put that one there. And then. Yeah. Perfect. I think the rest is just white. White beads and then a nose and the. Uh, ears. I don't want to do a hot pink, but this might be too bright. More of the story, don't hunt meese. Not the meese. Yeah, for serious. Alright, let's look at this one. Would you rather lose all of your friends but keep your BFF or lose your BFF but keep the rest of your buds? Oh my god, don't make me pick. This is too hard. This is too hard. While I think about it, let me see if I can find a better pink alternative. might be better. It's like really bright though. I think I prefer the the paler one. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this pale one over here. I think it's tough for me to answer that question because I feel like my BFFs have changed over time and the years and where I'm at. You know what I mean? So it's like, which BFF would I be losing? Because I love them all. Uh, but yeah, honestly, I don't know. More beads, more blues. Um, blues, dabble dee, dabble dime.
We're almost done here. Almost done here. Boop. But I was saying for non-Spanish speakers, is talking about uh, like, these are coming out great because Terraria is straight up pixel art. So like, it's a very one-to-one -one ratio transformation here. Um, so I think like it, the art itself like lends itself to that style. And it just works out. Okay. Yeah, ahora vamos a poner, no sé unas palabras en español, entonces lo digo como en Spanglish, entonces lo llamo el tape. Vamos a poner el tape. El tape. <laughs> uh, but before we do that, we need to, that is, that's a blank spot there. That is not gray. We always got to check our stuff before we finalize it. Siempre tenemos que chequear antes que terminamos. Gata que linda. Gatico, gatico. En la mañana me levantito. Me voy caminando con mi gatito. This is a song my mom used to sing, but I know I've already butchered the lyrics. Something about going uh, through a walk in her village with her little cat. At the, the village in the morning is very nice. And so is the kitty. So we're going to push down. Vamos a empujar aquí abajo. Para que no se salgan y brincan. Me tengo que ir. Chao, ya vuelvo. Ok, Terrarian. Gracias por venir. Que tengan buen día. Chao, chao. Que doki. Bye, bye. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet song. Maybe I'll ask my mom to sing it. And then I'll write down the lyrics. And then I'll sing it for y'all next time. So this is going to be weird. It's not going to be enough tape. So I'm actually going to go over a little bit. What I'm worried about is this tape here is like already pulling that stuff up. So I'm going to try to put this tape on here and put that down there. Yeah. So we're going to push this down. You know what I need to check up on? Like if in the description of the live stream, I can update like... Okay, from this time to this time, we worked on this piece. From this time to that time, we worked on that piece. Because um, that might be good for people to click through and find out like what they're missing. You're reading an article about Chris McCandless. Is it an up-to-date article, like something recently or something from the 90s? Because in the new afterword of the book that's come out like 20 years later, that's when I discover it's not an alkaloid that is poisonous, but an amino acid that if ingested too much, uh, basically paralyzes you. It's very terrifying. And like the guy who wrote the paper originally, he had found out uh, from his research in a concentration camp and the torturous experiments that they had there, which is horrifying. Pretty gnarly stuff, man. Call it the silent fire. Jeez, no thinking. It's titled... Era un héroe o un idiota? <laughs> Was he a hero or a stupid idiot? Yeah, a lot of people think different things about like whether he was arrogant or ignorant. Um, but hey, man, he lived in life. He lived and lived. He lived and died his uh, his own way and his own terms, I suppose. I think he kind of knew what he was getting into, and like he knew the risk. It'd be one thing of another, like. A city slicker just was like, I'm gonna go into the wild. Granted, he went into the wild with a 22 caliber rifle and a 10 pound bag of rice, which some people would say that is not very prepared. But maybe that's the point. Like, he wanted to go in unprepared to f live off the land, you know? Haha, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what up, Faye? Blink. Hey, so Faye, I don't know if you heard before, we had the, um, internet fiasco crisis happening uh we updated your points we threw in like thirteen thousand plus the stuff you've accumulated here on youtube so it's up there kitty cat yeah oh no the black bead i thought that was gonna happen specifically with that bead it's like on the edge of the tape there so i gotta like push it down. Oh. Dang it. Let's move the other ones out of work. Let me put this down over here. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty bead. 
here, kitty 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 bead. Performing surgery. That's about as close as we're gonna get, I think. That should be fine. Yeah, yeah. I think what I have to do from now on is every time I'm gonna stream, I have to reset my router before I start streaming. Because, like, it's been, like, the past three Saturdays, and it's only on Saturdays. Wednesday nights are fine. It's just a big pain in the butt. I'm gonna have to call and be like, Hey, you guys. Your router's not working. Please, can I have another one? But we'll see what happens. That is not what I was looking for. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the iron so we can get this kitty underway. Come on, kitty, come on, kitty. And then we can also do Tom Nook. The last Animal Crossing bee there. And then we'll have probably about 30 minutes left, so... I'll show you guys how to, for the people who are interested in how to make your own patterns, for free! And there's, I have a YouTube short describing what that is, what that process looks like. But, uh, it might be helpful for some folks to, like, see it live, see it happen live. And I'm making a, a giant pile of bead bins. I almost call it a bin bead, again. And it is very tall. I'm gonna tilt it slightly so you can see. Dang, look at how many. One, two, three, four, five. That's crazy. So many. Santa baby. Beep to beep to beep to boopy. Got a baby. Beep to beep to beep to boopy. For this one, we're definitely gonna use white. White string or white yarn. <laughs> please, please give me the skin. I think I was working on the Vroid there. Or like my maybe my 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 pixel art man. VTuber, and I was trying to get the skin. I was like, please, please give me the skin. Oh, what a creepy statement, either way. This reminds me of Underwater Mario. Like, not the the music, but like the instrument being used. Okay, is this going to be able to get on? Yes. There we go. And we can still use this paper, even though it got a giant crease on it. It should be fine. Alright, so let's start by getting it all stuck to the paper. Especially this black beads over here that are giving us trouble. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. And right now we're on like a 2 heat, 2.5, because the piece is a little smaller. If we were to put it on a higher heat, we would definitely get some explosions of beads. But it's also hard with these smaller ones too, because if you want to like go to a specific area, like these gray, these whites are done, right? They're super close. It's hard not to uh, go over the beads around them, which might lead to that explosion. Kind of got like pushed down at a weird angle. Oh, so like that bottom part is now getting really irony. So I'm gonna move this around. Try to do it from this angle. What the? I feel like my hair is always falling off from these things. Get out of here. It's gross. No one invited you over here. And because we poked holes in the tape, this allows us to get really flat melty. Otherwise, things would be exploding. Nice. Sick. Okay. Let's get that under some heavy books. And then the last thing we're going to iron today, most likely, is Tom Nook. 
Beep, beep, beep. So some fun trivia that we went over last time about Tom Nook is that he was rated like he was in a poll for like one of Nintendo's best villains, even though he's not himself a villain. And in the Happy Home Designer uh, DLC, when you talk to Tom Nook, he's like, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes people think I'm like this nefarious con man, but I'm OK to keep that image so long as it gets people to pay their debts on time. But I've donated 90 percent of my proceeds to an orphanage three towns over. And it's like, damn, Tom Nook, you're a good guy. But he has some shady past because he has worked with Red, according to Animal Crossing lore. Hi, Tamatom. Tamatom. Ya volví. Hola. Bienvenido otra vez. Aquí estamos finalizando. Casi el último aquí. No es de Terraria, pero es de Animal Crossing, de que fue la última vez, el miércoles. Let me translate, y'all. So I was working on Animal Crossing stuff on Wednesday, but I didn't get to finish ironing. So that's why we're ironing some of this stuff here. In case anyone's confused, like, what the heck? This isn't Terraria. I recognize that raccoon. That's not a raccoon at all. This one. <laughs> Glad I can see. So like this eyeball over here is super melty. So we got to make sure this eyeball over here is getting some attention. Come on, eyeballs. Eyeball it up. There we go. Yeah, nice. And then looking at my computer screen right now, it looks pretty even. Lo voy a notar para jugarlo después. <laughs> yeah. Animal Crossing is muy, muy relajado. Es muy chill, como se dice. Okay, that looks pretty good. I just want to get this middle part here a little more. The white is always the one that comes out most obvious with the hole, because it looks the hole looks black. All right, that should do it. That should do it. Minus this white. I'm feeling a lot more confident with my flat melts lately because for a long time I would always get like these explosions, but I feel like with all this practice, especially live, it's been uh, beneficial to me as a perler beater. Lo cortar de Terraria. So basically, si, sí, claro. Uh, we were saying that Animal Crossing can be very chill, and Terraria, maybe not so much. Maybe the opposite, because it can be really hectic and crazy. Uh, so we're going to close that off, and what I want to show you, lo que te quiero mostrar, is now, if you wanted to make your own patterns, what you would do. So first, let's go and find, uh, let's go to studio mode. And let's go to Nested Crafter R. There we go. It's El Guía Papa Noel. Yeah. El Guía. Papa. Wow. Okay. Lo que vamos a hacer, what I'm going to show you now, is how to make your own pattern. So, let's look up at the Terraria fandom over here. Uh, vamos a buscar. We're going to look for maybe tools. Or maybe items. Potions. I'm going to make a potion, I think. Or maybe like a little baby slime. Let me let me search up slime. Because yeah, there's like a baby slime, Mr. Slime kind of guy. Town slimes? Ah yeah, ah yeah. Oh wow. Squire slime. Are those all of them? I like I like the nerdy slime. Clumsy slime is so cute. Cool slime. Hey man, I'm so cool. Let's look up cool slime. So we're gonna open them up. Nice. And then for potions, let's just get one potion here. There you go. Potions. Oh, there's a lot 
lot of potions there. Click here to tap the content. Oh, there it is. Here are all the potions. Lesser healing potion. Uh, and then there's also regular healing potion and greater healing potion. Oh, we can do a star. So we're gonna open these up, and they're very tiny. La vamos a abrir. Es muy pequeño. said what we're gonna do now that we have that all done and set up yeah i'm gonna move this up here there we go so i can see the chat yeah baby slam french slam slam with heck yeah 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 um vamos a abrir a sprite so we're gonna open a sprite and we're gonna go to a new one maybe 30 by 34 okie dokie uh we're gonna zoom in a bit here vamos a mirar más pequeño aquí and oh no different one Vamos a coger primero el slime. Y es muy grande este slime. Muy, muy grande. Entonces vamos a hacer... We're going to check to see how big these pixels are. And it looks like it's 15 pixels. 15. So we need to divide 1 divided by 15. Anyone know how to do a calculator? It is... 1 divided by 15. So, six, maybe seven percent. So, let's see if this works. Vamos a ver si eso si trabaja. Look at this boil. What? Vamos a ver. Sprite size. Y vamos a hacer siete, siete por ciento. Y ahora vamos a chequear como si, si queda lo, como, lo mismo. Entonces, so we're going to copy and paste. Make a new one. Paste them in here. And in the back one here, we're going to undo this one and make sure it looks just like the other one. And if it looks exactly the same, we did just fine. Si ve lo mismo, como mismito, entonces estamos listo. Eh, yeah. Que bueno. Entonces, and now that we know that this one is looking A-OK, -okay, what? This one. This one's like an A-OK. -okay. We're going to change the grid. Vamos a cambiar el grid. A uno por uno. To one by one. And we're going to close the pattern a little bit. And now we know. Ya sabemos que said 18 by 15. 18 por 15. My Spanish teacher. What? Blow it. Blow it there. And we'll just open Use Vamos a Ver as like a filler phrase. I love there. <laughs> we'll see. We're going to find out. Uh, entonces, so here, one pegboard. A... Where the pegboard that? What the? Where did it go? Right here, there. They're see-through. Hard to see. Entonces, uh, what? You can't see because of this. Let me go turn that off. Este pegboard is 29 por 29. This is 29 by 29. So you want to make sure that it's less than 29 by 29. Like so. So over here, if you press C, el C, it says right here, 18 by 15. So this would definitely fit. So if you do 29 by 29, this would be in the center of the pegboard. So if you combine that with this, ba -bam, now you know exactly what you're looking for. So we have that there. I don't think we're gonna have time to make him, but I do want to check out the potions and see if we do make a potion. Which potion would we make? There's a star, greater potion, cool potion, maybe this potion. Okay. So let's double check. Vamos a chequear. Okay, so it looks like each one is. This is like uh, the pixels are two by two instead of one by one. Son dos por dos. Entonces, vamos a cincuenta por ciento. There we go. Ta -da! 10 por 13. 10 by 13. So, looking at it from here, you can also have kind of a small potion here. My issue is that I don't have enough reds. I have one red and a bunch of pinks, and it's not going to come out well. The grays would be fine. So, I'm actually not going to make this potion. But now we all know what it looks like. Dun -dun -dun -dun. 
but yeah, that's how you make your own patterns. I see it's come last as sus patterns. And uh, yeah, so I think what we're gonna do is we are going to check on the cat and Tom Nook. Vamos a chequear con el gatico y el Tom. Dajang. Wow. Mira para allá. Mira eso. Would you look at that? That's crazy. Eso sí es loco. There you go. Um, and then Tom Nook will give him some time to keep on cooling down. Uh, this is very warm, so uh, it's not that warm, but I'm going to put it down here. Cause an issue. Move that out of the way. Okay. So now what we're gonna do? How to look at Mama's edge? Yeah, he's a cute kitty. Let's go take the tape off. While holding down on the beads, because the more crazy jagged edges your beads are the more you're gonna have to put pressure on your beads as you lift the tape so the tape doesn't destroy it or get it out of where it's supposed to be. Now what you could do is also iron this side to make it more secure, but since it's just gonna be hanging, it should be fine. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I love the kitty. I'll never forget that from Hey Arnold, when Arnold is learning how to read. Oh, almost stabbed myself again. Don't do that, kids. Be very careful when you're using sharp objects. Ta-da! So now, we'll get our white string. Uh, I think, yeah, we already cut off a piece right here. So this section over here, we're gonna look up. <laughs> Yummy! Except it's not. And now, we're just going to should be able to shove that through. Right there. Oh, we're not even using our threading thing, actually. Which, maybe we never had to in the first place. Because that was super simple. We got a kitty. Katie Zord assembled. That would be my Megazord if I was a Power Ranger. I'd call him the power of the Katie's. We're gonna grab this. Chippity chop. Da -da. We have a Katie ornament. You want like 20 of these little guys? <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Alright, I'm checking out our boy Tom Nook. Looking pretty good. Looking mostly flat and melty. Over here, there's a little bit more holes. A little more holy moly. But I think it's perfect for our purposes. Oh, excuse me. That burp came out of nowhere, I tell you. Nowhere. Unexpected burp. Let's see. The last would you rather probably question of today. Would you rather have people spread a terrible lie about you or have people spread terrible but true tales about you? Oh my gosh. I think I'd prefer the first one, the former, not the latter. Not the shoots and ladders because uh, I would like to think that I build up enough like good social currency with the people around me that if they were to hear something horrible and a huge lie, they'd be like, nah, Raz would never do that. That sounds like a huge lie. I don't believe it. I don't know why this happens, but every single time it's closer to the bottom. I think maybe because uh, I always forget the bottom part of the iron is like on this part. But like this bottom section is almost always not as thick. You can see that slant. It looks like a bar graph. Just like beep, 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 beep going on up. 
That's crazy. Um, but yeah, I would hope that I can build enough social capital with, with peeps that they would not believe the horrible, horrible lies. Okay, I gotta hold this in a way where I'm not gonna stab myself. Don't stab yourself. Yeah, there we go. And you gotta be careful not to force it through because it might uh, break if you're too rough with the bead. Probably the former as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's see if Timmy's yellow. Might as well make Tom yellow too. Because you only have three colors here. Uh, scissors, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this tape. Get out of here. What are you doing here, tape? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gonna lick up right there. You know what I'm gonna do right now before I forget? Is I'm gonna set an alarm on my phone for every Saturday at noon to update, uh, reset my router. So this internet fiasco doesn't happen ever again. At 12 p.m., label reset router, bro. I even typed a bro. See? Reset router, bro. Uh, repeats every Saturday. There we go. Moving forward, that should eliminate that issue. I think last time I chose ladder, but I've grown in the past 10 months, maybe. Oh. Watch out. Personal growth, cat. Let's go. Let's go. Introspective growth for the win. Ritmo. Oh, si. Ahí vamos. Tiki tiki taka. Tiki 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 taka. So we're going to shove these in here. Vamos a empujar esto aquí adentro. Y ya que está en otro lado, now it's on the other side, we can pull. And now we have done many variations of Christmas ornaments. And I can make a YouTube video about it. Yay! Except that might be too late. Y'all think it's too late for me to put out a, a video about how to make Christmas ornaments? Should I wait till next November <laughs> to post it? Or should I put one out now even though it's a little late? into the season and Christmas is going to be upon us because I wouldn't be able to get it done until like I probably won't be able to get it posted until next Saturday which is Christmas Eve so <laughs> never too late yeah maybe not Ta -da! we have Tom Nook the name Tom Nook so let's look at everything we've done today first we destroyed the internet and then we made a few different things Wow, really productive today, huh? Maybe because they're a lot smaller. Christmas is going to be fun activity. Hey, that's true, Faye. Way to be a positive thinker. This is why I appreciate you. We got, like, El Guia, the guide. Dun, 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 dun. We have El Gato, the cat. We have Animal Crossing Leaf. I like how the green translucent green came out. We have Celeste, who can't fly, and that's why she loves stargazing. We have KK Slider, the only naked animal villager crosser. We have Tom Nook, not a con man, just misunderstood. We have Timmy, maybe Timmy Nook, not sure. This would get out really awesome. And then we have Santa Claus, Papa Noel. Mi favorito el gato, hey. Terrarian's favorite is the kitty cat. A lot of people like the kitty. Kitty number one. Kitty number one. Yeah, 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 yeah. So cool, y'all. We all did it. I showed you how to make a pattern at the end. Thank you so much for your patience uh, during our internet explosion earlier in the stream at the beginning. Uh, we couldn't be doing this without you. And I will put up some of that cool, interesting data on the Discord. If you are not part of the Discord but want to be, we post a lot of cool art there and we talk about other things. Uh, it's pretty a chill server. And it's not very overwhelming. Yo también. Hey, look at that Spanish teacher. They taught you well. Um, 
So feel free to join the Discord there. Um, going Wednesday, I'll put up another poll to see what we're going to do next. Maybe some Among Us. Maybe some Stardew Valley. Maybe some uh, blah, 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 Undertale. Uh, we're going to find out. So we're going to put that up there and see what you guys think. So keep an eye on that. Uh, but we're going to go. We're going to head on out. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for your patience, for your grace, for your understanding. Among Goose. Among Goose. Wah! Uh, and yeah, we'll catch you on the flip it a flop, y'all. Thanks so much for being here. We appreciate you. Uh, lots. Lots and lots and lots. Lots of love to all y'all. Uh, next Saturday is going to be Christmas Eve. So if you're not here, that's okay. And if you are here because you don't celebrate, you have nowhere you want to be here, you're more than welcome. So see y'all. We'll catch you later, skaters. Bye 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 See you later, everybody. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Yep, beep, 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 beep